Hello, uh, good morning. Welcome to Sudiriman uh, Teo Instituto, our school. Uh, we are very blessed to, to see uh, uh, all the teachers here uh, working with us. <laughs> uh, I am going to speak in Basque. Uh, I am the principal, Esther Labor. Casho, eh, un nuevo gusto hoy, eh, un guieto día, estudiar eh, y mantener hora, el pago que no cultura de Chira. Mm, eh, así era Mango Diego con Resuari, eh, Oso José Gaudé, eh, una torre de arte gustio que torre de arte la co, espero de un eh, Oso Arra Castacho, que está aquí ya eh, una día, está para eh, no que has movido el día aquí y dulce a Chira. ¿vale? E, Gus centro público Bandea, bai, Eskuntza Sariko eh Erkidegoko zentro publiko Bandea eta mm, ba nahiko zentro handia, bai? E, guk e, hiru etapa ezberdinak ditugu, mm, Delgorresko Bigarren Eskuntza, bai? E, Manteo Eraikinia, e, Batxilergoa e, Zubidi eta Laurides eta baita, bai? Guztira 1200 ikasle inguru ditu eta irakaslegoa guztien etapa guztiena eh egun da 45 guzti inguru, bai? E, gure helburua zuena bezala da e, guri ikasleak ezitzea eta e, eta lan mundura bidaltzea behar bezala prestatua. Eta eh orain eh urrengoan hitzko e, zaitu uste eh Carmen da izandieki gastu bera zeingo dizuet orain eh azalpena eta eh, hola, buenos días. Mm, soy Esther Labo, la directora del, del Centro Zubiri Manteo. Bienvenidos a, a San Sebastián, bienvenidos a, a, a nuestro instituto. Mm. Eh, estamos muy contentos de que estéis aquí. Eh, para nosotros ha sido un reto muy bonito preparar el, el congreso. Gracias a Carmen. Eh. Y gracias a todos vosotros que, que habéis querido participar. ¿eh? Eh, queríamos contaros que somos un centro de la red pública de educación ¿eh? y eh, tenemos tres etapas educativas. Eh, lo que denominaríamos la secundaria obligatoria, eh, el bachillerato y los ciclos formativos o la formación profesional de los alumnos. Eh, Rondamos sobre los 1.200 alumnos, somos un centro de la comunidad bastante, bastante grande y sobre unos 150-155 profesores. Eh, espero que las jornadas eh, sean muy provechosas para todos vosotros eh, y que vaya eh, todo estupendamente bien. Gracias por venir. What she said, but summing up, <laughs> uh, we, you are welcome. We are very happy to have you, all, all of you here. We hope that you enjoy as well. Um, that, um, she, she said that the, um, this is a public school. We have uh, more than 1,000 students and more than one, 150, you said, uh, teachers. Uh, we teach uh, secondary education, high school and vocational. Um, we also want to educate our students and our aims are um, to educate and to prepare for the future, learning as well for the future. <laughs> and, and that's all. That you are welcome, you are very welcome, and that uh, you are in your house. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. First of all, dear headmistress. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for welcoming us, and thank you for letting us be here. And to the rest of you, welcome, all of you, dear colleagues, dear friends, dear old friends, dear new friends, dear new faces, dear old faces. It's fantastic that it's possible to be here 
uh, in St. Sebastian for the 11th Nordic workshop. Notice Nordic. <laughs> it is, we, we know how to find the best places and the best uh, environments and the best teachers to work with. Now, uh, I'm going to very briefly uh, to talk about the purpose of the Nordic Conference. Some of you might have forgotten it, some of you might never have seen it before, and uh, therefore, just very briefly, I'm going to say uh, how it all started. So these are the words by Pierre Gabrielsen from the very first uh, Nordic conference taking place in Denmark in 1986. And she said, the purpose is to bring along uh, together teachers, teacher educators and research workers to review and discuss classroom experience. Now, this was in 86. And what has happened since is really that we have also now got students. In those days, it was unthinkable that it was students involved in the Nordic workshops. But now we have quite a number, and I know at least two coming all the way from Switzerland. Can we see you? So all of you can see us, or see you. Stand up, please. <laughs> because, yes, they are specially chosen and they are going to have work very hard because they're going to report back. Now, the next thing that Geert came up with, by the way, she sends her love, and I'll come back to that, is to discuss the notion of learn autonomy in language learning, its theoretical, practical, and philosophical foundation. And it was repeated in 1995 when we came there. Further on, the purpose is to discuss conditions for and possible ways of promoting learn autonomy, which can be easily seen in the program for this conference, suggest kinds of research needed in this connection. We will be looking forward to the results from the workshop tomorrow on research. Especially its leader is very uh, important in this respect, what comes out of it. Share experiences and concepts on an international basis. This year, for the first time, we are looking into uh, curricular guidelines uh, around the world and to establish networks of cooperation between the participating countries. We really hope with this conference that there will be a lot of networks. Carmen was in charge of a very successful uh, teacher's course yesterday where we have the feeling and there will certainly be a network coming up from that. Now, also to those of you who are new, those of you who might have forgotten, this is the list of the Nordic workshops. And you can see to begin with, we really stuck to the Nordic countries. But, for the first time in 1997, we moved to Barcelona with Ramon, then back to the Nordic countries just for one year, and then we were back to Tenerife because we loved the South. And actually it turned out that it was cheaper to go to Tenerife than going to Finland, so that was also another reason. And then Copenhagen and Bergen, and now we are here for the 11th uh, workshop. Now, I have uh, put in bold the 1999 workshop, because it had an impact on the definition of learn autonomy. There was a small group in 1989 who actually came up with a Bergen, what we call the Bergen definition, which has very uh, much been referred to. And some of us who worked on it are still alive and here, which is fantastic. Uh, and, but I want you to see it, because I think that this really includes what we believe in, the people attending the Nordic workshops. So, the, it's characterized by readiness, one's needs and purposes, capacity and willingness, and independently and in cooperation with others as a social responsible person. 
Now, the last bit I have put into italics because I think that is really why I have put it here. Because I do hope that the people here today, as the participants in all the uh, previous workshops after Bergen, have really stuck to this definition of an autonomous learner. Is an active participant in the social processes of learning, but also an active interpreter of new interpretations in ter terms of what he or she already and uniquely knows. Now, this workshop might come out up with a new definition. However, until that occurs, please stick to this. Right? But, also, a big thank you to Carmen. It is amazing. I looked through my files in September 19, and 2010. We were still hoping for a workshop in Sweden. There were a mail exchange between Turid, June, Jörg, Turin and myself about how to organize it, the contents, etc., etc. And finally it was not possible to have it in Sweden. So with very, very, very short notice, Carmen volunteered to take upon her this amazing task to organize a Nordic workshop with less than two years to go. So a big, big thank you to you, Carmen. Now, Carmen says that her team that I had hoped that I could introduce is working. That is the uh, conditions in the Basque country. But we have Christina. Christina is here, wasn't she? No, she wasn't. She, she was here, wasn't she? She was. It's a nice uh, dark haired, it's all the rest, with curly hair, walking around, smiling uh, from time to time. And uh, there is uh, the arts teacher, and she is not here. He, yeah, no, no, that's the next one. And I can't say his name. Jesus Marie. I practice all night. But Khan says he's very, very nice. So I believe her. And but I know he is here, isn't he? Your husband? Where is he? He's not here. Anyway. The last one of the team is Carmen's husband, and I had hoped he was here because he has to be thanked even more than all the others, because he has probably lived without Carmen for two years, and still seemed to be getting on with her. So, a big, big thank you, not only to this team, but also to all the people. I've been here for now two days, and all the people around this, setting up the tables, moving chairs, being very, very helpful. And I think we have also, and please give my thanks and our thanks to all these people who have made this possible. So, Colleagues, it's a pleasure having you all of you here. And for me, this is a, a dream come true, if I tell you the truth, because I would have never imagined that uh, we would be able to, to take you <laughs> to San Sebastian, the Nordic Conference here. When I joined this conference in 2006 um, in Copenhagen, I would have never imagined that one day we will be, we will be in San Sebastian. And thanks to, to Cristina and Jesus Mari, the people I met uh, first, and I, and I told them to help organizing this, and they were, they are not here, but they were the, the first people who said, yes, we are ready to take on the work, and without their help, it wouldn't have been, it would have been impossible to carry it through. Mm. 
I hope, we hope that this conference fulfills the objectives of the Nordic Conference of sharing knowledge and experiences and in, in reflecting and establishing new ways ahead in autonomous learning. I want also to say that uh, we took this responsibility on because we, for us, for, for the school, it was an opportunity to, we thought that it was an opportunity to get some, to achieve some of our objectives, um, such as um, get teachers involved in the improvement of uh, language teaching, learning about autonomous learning, extending aut autonomous learning in the area in, and around. For that, we had yesterday a, a course, a free course for teachers, run by Lenny Dam and Marta Bukhakowska and me. And, and last but not least, you know because you know me and I've been in two conferences before and I always say, mention this, that uh, we, we are always ready and willing to, to have collaborative projects, school exchanges or anything uh, in, in which we, we can collaborate with you, with, with students and teachers from your countries. So that is one of our aims too. Um, we think that uh, this conference uh, can be an opportunity for the city itself because the city is going to host you for these days and gives you the, the possibility of discovering and enjoying the city. And to finish, I want to especially mention Lenny Dam's help behind the scenes all the time working telling us, helping us, <laughs> two years, almost two years, huh? supporting. supporting, supporting, all the time. And all the teachers at the school who have encouraged us to go on and are helping now in some way. For example, I want to mention Xavier and Lola who did the logo of the conference. And well, Xavier Elizalde, he's going to record all videos and photographs and all that and all, and all the people who, who are going to take part these days helping us uh, around the old part, going for pinchos or whatever, or being with us. So, to all of them, thank you. Um, this is all. I hope you, 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 we fulfill your expectations regarding the subject matter and your stay here in, in San Sebastian with us um, and welcome, you are welcome, <laughs> very welcome. <laughs>